friends, it's Jen, and I am super excited to announce that the Solopreneur Collective applications are now open for Enchanted Enrollment. So if you don't know, Enchanted Enrollment is only open until July 25th at midnight, um, 11.59 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time to be exact. So if you want to get in your application before then, you will be getting a mystery... mystery. <laughs> magical mystery box delivered to your front door. Um, the only reason why I have this like cut off for intended enrollment is because it is taking like it has a lot of intention into the box. So I want to make sure that um, I have the time to curate everything, uh, get everything set up, order everything to be able to send out. Um, if you enroll and are accepted uh, after that time, you will still be receiving something. Uh, it won't be the mystery box, unfortunately, but don't worry, you're not going to be left out of the fun. Uh, but I will say the mystical, magical mystery box is already incredible. So make sure you get your application in if you know that this is for you. There's going to be much more information about the Solopreneur Collective coming out also. Just keep updated on my Instagram page at Gen Sway Coaching. Um, and if you're not on there, then you can check out my website at jensway.com. That's J-E-N-C-E-Y.com. The Solopreneur uh, page has some more information on that. And of course, my email list, you guys will always be updated on everything new. So let's do a walkthrough through the application. Um, I put a lot of love and intention into this and you can get a transformation just by going through the application. Like I highly, highly, highly encourage you if you have an entrepreneurial spirit, if you have a passion project, if you've been trying to think about how to revamp your business to be more sustainable so that you're not in that hustle burnout culture, or if you are not really feeling aligned with the business that you currently have or the job that you currently have, this will help create that clarity and what you actually want to do and have that space for you to take some time to dream and connect to your soul, connect to your purpose um, and let that kind of shine through. So let's go ahead and walk through it. I'm just gonna read that little blurb at the beginning. Uh, it says, the Solopreneur Collective, ready to go all in on you and your dreams? As you go through this application, I invite you to answer not from your mind, but from your body and your soul. Allow yourself to be tender, authentic, and free. Be audacious and dare to dream, at least for this moment. I promise to hold space for you here. You will not be judged. Your responses are private and will not be shared with others without your consent. I look forward to meeting your spirit through this and hope to welcome you into the community and guide you through your experience as a soul-centered entrepreneur. Feel free to light a candle, grab a drink, play some music, or just sit in your magic and genius as you connect to yourself through this application. So at the very beginning, you have your basics, just your name, email, phone number. And then we have eight questions to help bring to light what you're trying to create. The first is what is the business or venture or the iteration of it that you have, if you already have one that you wanna create. So whatever the, if you already have an idea for what you wanna create, I know um, I know somebody who wants to start a nonprofit to help uh, artists and makers to help support them. And it's kind of like a whisper of like your intention right now. So that can be a blurb about that, right? You're kind of calling. So in this, little description here. I have, there's always an element of mystery that may pull you along your journey, but as of now, what is your vision, passion, purpose, curiosity, mission, soul yearning, or intuitive whisper that you want to steward into life? Um, I know that's a little bit spiritual like language and stuff, so I'm going like, to ground it for you in some like day-to-day -day language, which is basically like shit's going to change, especially as an entrepreneur in your first year, you're kind of like pivoting Although I would kind of go to say that there's no such thing as pivoting uh, when you're just starting out because you're just like, that's the nature of things. You're supposed to go and try things out and modify based off of what you find and like what you've experimented it with, what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy. So there's that element of, you don't know what the future holds. That's just how life goes. But as of right now, what is like calling to you that you want to create? Is it a nonprofit? Is it a coaching business? Is it a spiritual healing practice? Is it a sisterhood space? Um, you know, is it a product that you want to steward into life? Like, have you been dreaming about something that's going to like, just like light people up? Do you want to create your own tarot cards, your own like fashion brand? Um, do you want to go deeper into, I don't know, investments and the NFT space uh, and curate that somehow that lights you up, right? There's a bunch of different ways that this can show through, but if you have a specific business or venture that you want to create, 
uh, through the Solopreneur Collective. This is the space to tell me all about it. So the next question is, is prefaced with this. As humans, we want to have certainty in our, in our decisions, in our future, in the idea that there is a tomorrow. While we can't guarantee what the future holds, we do know for certain that we will die eventually. And for now, we are alive with the one life that we got. So in the Solopreneur Collective, we will stop prioritizing the safety we believe we get from following our own social conditioning and start recalibrating our own internal safety to our own internal knowing. What that means is that in the Solopreneur Collective, we're going to basically do away with the conditioning that we have from patriarchy or from supremacy culture being like, you know, work more and that is equals more success, right? You're more valuable if you have more, um, you know, profit over people, like all of those things that kind of have fueled traditional business thus far, we're breaking away from and we're making it safe in order for you to do things your way and show you evidence for how when you follow your path that's lit up by your soul, when you follow like what is really meant for you and your own internal desires, you will be rewarded with success um, to the highest degree in your own personal way. So personally, um, success to me is like inner peace, right? Can I build a business with a peace of mind knowing that I am in aligned with my values that there are always like things happening, there's always people coming, there's always like uh, you know, I'm generating good into the world and all these things, while also having that tangible safety of, yes, I live in the physical world, I want a roof over my head, like food to eat, all those things, right? They, they are not separate, they actually work together to fuel a sustainable business. So in the book, The Top Five Regrets of the Dying by Bronnie Ware, she shares the most common regrets of her palliative care patients. They are one, I wish I'd had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. Two, I wish I hadn't worked so hard. Three, I wish I had the courage to express my feelings. Four, I wish I had stayed in touch with my friends. And five, I wish I had let myself be happier. So I want you to take some time and like sit with those regrets um, that is honestly all really hard hitting. For me, when I had read this, it had changed a lot of things. It kind of had shifted a lot for me. I had just gotten out of like depression and like really bad anxiety and stuff like that. I started to live for myself. Um, so personally, that first one of I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me, was the one that resonated with me the most. So in question seven, I want you to pick from above which one of the top five regrets of the dying speaks to you the most and why. So you can write as much or as little as you want about that. Question number six, anger, sadness, love, and all your feelings, the bigger, the brighter, lead to your truth. What thing triggers the fuck out of you, makes you want to ugly cry, or lights you up with undying joy? Tell me about it. So this thing can be anything related or unrelated to your business. Um, it could be world issues. It could be about your life, et cetera, like literally anything. If you um, absolutely love social media and how online businesses in 2022 can generate freedom and uh, you know, careers for people that you've never been able to see and that like lights you up so much and you want to be like a social media manager or you want to be an influencer or whatever, tell me about it here, right? If you've been really triggered about Roe versus Wade being overturned and not having gun laws in this country and like healthcare being so fucking expensive that like our quality of life is shit and it's only sick care, it's not really healthcare, tell me about that here. If you know that, you know, in your business, you are really trying to help people in a specific group. If you want to help marginalized identities come home to themselves, if you want to, you know, be a coach and a healer because you've seen the pain of yourself of like going through life or seen the pain of the, of kids that you've worked with, maybe um, go through life without a parent, for example, like write about that here. Like I want to see your spirit. I want to see what is driving you in this because this is, the essence that I feel like is the cleanest energy and the most sustainable energy to run your business. And like I said, it doesn't have to be related to it, but I want to know what gets you going. All right. Question number five, what is your biggest fear when it comes to starting, growing, or burning down and rebuilding your business? So again, the Solopreneur Collective is really tailored for people who want to start a venture um, or 
or a project uh, or already has a existing business, whether you are in coaching or a spiritual healing space um, or something else that's like really service oriented, that's really where I'm coming from. Um, what is your biggest fear when it comes to starting or growing or burning it down and restarting it the way that you really want to? And question number four, a kind of a follow up to it. If you knew for sure that you could handle that fear, what would you choose next? What would your next steps be currently? Like if you've been struggling with something, if you've been struggling with your pricing, struggling with your messaging, your marketing, um, if you're afraid to tell people like you're a life coach or you're afraid to tell people you are a spiritual healer or you're afraid to tell people that you help artists and makers, um, right? Like if you knew for sure that you could handle whatever fear came out of this, right? Question number five, what would you do? Question number three. I'm not going to bullshit you and say building a successful business is easy. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart, much less being a thought leader or spearheading a revolution. But life is not easy. And chances are you've already gone through hardships in the past and maybe are going to are going through some now. So as solopreneurs, we know that we get to choose some, if not most, of our hearts. We play the long game. We don't skip the mindset work. We don't ask how, how, how. And we don't just let ourselves get away with, I don't know, and give up. What is the hard that you are choosing by adventuring into this container? How will you remind yourself of your own resiliency and tap into your inner resourcefulness? How will you show up to be accountable for the results that you want to achieve in this next year in the Solopreneur Collective? So this question, like, really hits at the heart of what it means to be a solopreneur and kind of the essence of this container being driving home to your, your sovereignty, right? Uh, I'm going to act as a mirror, obviously, and help guide you and, and teach a lot of different concepts, uh, share, you know, what's worked for me and all these things. But at the end of the day, every single business is different because you're at the heart of it. Your essence is at the, at the heart of it. So you will be guided to make decisions for yourself. I cannot make decisions for you. Even if I told you exactly what to do, um, if you feel resistance to it, you're probably not gonna be very successful with that. So this question is really hitting at that heart of how are you going to be able to come back to yourself? How are you going to guarantee that you get what you came here for? Question number two, tell me what your dream partnership between you and your spirit or the spirit of your business and me and my spirit and the Solarpreneur Collective looks like. So tell me what you want from this, right? Tell me what you dream of this partnership being. Tell me if, you know, you see me as just like a guide and a steward and um, somebody who like knows these, like, like what it feels like to take big risks and you want that to help guide you in taking your own big risks. Tell me if you um, really want like a very hands-on kind of like spoon-fed experience in this. Like there's no judgment here. I just want to know uh, why, like, specifically kind of do you want to be in this container with me as your business coach, mentor, facilitator, and what you hope to get out of this? And question number one, at the end of the day, we're, inc we're an incredibly easy to kill living beings on a giant floating rock in space. Are you willing to stop taking yourself so seriously and have fun in your journey? Fun and play are going to be big pillars in the Solarpreneur Collective. It is one of the biggest things, two of the biggest things that can help you actually feel your creativity, feel your joy and make your business sustainable. It is the lack of joy, lack of play and the taking yourself too seriously that makes you burnt out, that makes, that, um, you know, dampens your creativity, that keeps you thinking really small and playing really small. So that being said, are you willing to just have some fun and stop taking yourself so seriously? So those are the eight questions um, in the application. And after that, you're just going to go ahead and submit. There's going to be some information on the availability and acknowledgements of what the Solopreneur Collective entails. So there are going to be meetings, like the official time frame for the Solopreneur Collective is going to be starting on September 22nd, 2022 to September 15th, uh, 2023. So I, you know, like that. There will be a two-day virtual live kickoff between um, September 22nd and 2023, sorry, between September 22nd to 23rd, the, the two-day event, the time is to be determined, but it will be scheduled for a time that is friendly for everybody who's in it. 
there's going to be some official coaching calls and classes every month, about three to six, give or take. Um, and again, kind of going with the pace of how all of our energies play together. And that will be scheduled also for a time that is friendly for the collective. Everything's going to be recorded and shared with within the collective. So if you can't come to the two-day virtual kickoff, though I would say like really highly recommend going to that. Um, or if you can't show up for a call here and there, like also, okay, like there's going to be a recording of it. A live in-person event is going to take place on a weekend sometime between March and April. So in the halfway mark, that's really to help like kind of rejuvenate and a chance for all of us to play together, like in person. Um, I am right now the spirit and like my spirit and intuition is kind of telling me it's more of a healing retreat style. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And I'm also playing with the idea of having a private Facebook group to connect, collaborate, and get coached in. If it's not a Facebook group, it might be like Discord or Slack or something like that, but I'm leaning towards Facebook group. So yeah. And then there's a question about your time zone. Again, trying to make this friendly for everyone. I have other, if you're not located in the country, that's totally fine. Uh, your shipping address, which is only going to be used for the intention enrollment um, period to get you your box. And also this other thing when open enrollment comes, if you decide to wait on applying. And the last thing is just an acknowledgement that the investment is $15,000, which can be paid in full once, or it can be broken up into monthly payments of $3,000 a month over like for five months. So $15,000 still, but just broken up. Uh, and when you get your acceptance, not if, really believe when you get your acceptance, you're going to get an email from me uh, with the details of how to uh, complete your payment and any next steps that come with it. You'll have 48 hours to complete your full payment or your first payment as an acceptance of the invitation to the Solopreneur Collective. So I just have that as a checkbox and then you can press submit and you will be all good to go. You'll get a response from me within one to three business days. And I'm really, really excited to just like read through everything and meet your soul. So this is calling to you. Do not wait because enchanted enrollment is what it sounds like. You will be enchanted with the spirit of my business, AKA the child of wonderment. Uh, so that's everything. I'll see you guys in there. Bye.